Hello! Oh yes, many of you will have nostalgic feelings about this blighter. It is the finest thing to ever take a ball bearing and shove it around, screwball scramble. Well, actually, maybe that's Kongman, which is more visually impressive and has motors in it. Anyway, that's not relevant to what we're looking at today. Yes, this is a game where you have to get your little ball bearing from here to there and ring the bell as quickly as possible. And you can't do it just by picking it up and dropping it in like I did. That would be a big cheat. Yep, it's basically an assault course for a bit of metal. And it's been in continuous production as a toy for the last 42 years, as far as I can tell. The first versions of this were produced in 1979 when it was called Run Yourself Ragged which is not a very good name when compared to Screwball Scramble. I can see where they changed it. It's actually been sold by a lot of different names over the years in different countries, even in English. But Screwball Scramble is the most common name for it. And I tell you what, I had this as a kid and it was great. Uh, mine was very similar to this actually, but had a different picture on the uh, timer at the back there. So, give you a quick overview of what happens. The first thing you do is wind up the absolutely terrifying clockwork one minute timer which is the loudest thing in the world i've done that it probably doesn't sound as loud on camera but yeah it's very stress inducing and it only gives you 60 seconds i've got to say 60 seconds is not long to get around here we actually played this on barshans years ago as some of you may remember one minute ten seconds okay i feel like this is a strong time <laughs> But today we'll be giving it a closer look and then we'll be having a look at the second level of it because they made a sequel that connects to it. I know, right? But we'll go through this one first so we all know what we're doing. You can see all the different controls here for different parts of it. Uh, confusingly, this one controls two bits at once at the back there. Ooh. Yep. Basically, it's all about timing and to a certain extent, skill. But I tell you what it's not about, screaming. Stop screaming if you're playing this game. It will just annoy people around you and it will not help. Right, now we've got that out of the way. Here's how you play Screwball Scramble. Activate Extreme Angle. Right, this is how it works. Your ball starts here. You then have to flip it over this uh, weird ladder type arrangement and make sure that it ends up at the top there where this will be in position in the correct place and grab it with its magnet. You then move it around here flip it down these and here's the thing move these apart too fast or at the wrong speed and it's going to fall and hit the alligator on the nose which we do not want you then land on the unstable table and have flipped that around and of course you do not want it falling off this edge into the crap area you want it going on here and floating down where you have to bang 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 all the way through here and through the weird clown mouth thing. You can also technically jump directly from stage one to stage four there. There's a tip. Uh, then you go into the horrible maze of horribleness where you don't know what you're doing because it's pretty much blind and you have to just follow the noises of it or indeed play it a lot until you get the idea of it. It then goes off onto the little wooden aeroplane thing at the end and vroom, knock it around there, falls on the top and bang, you can knock it forward onto the bell. See, that looks nice and straightforward, doesn't it? Well, it's not easy at all, of course, and I'm about 14 years out of practice, so this is going to be interesting. I'm not starting the timer, and I will not be going back to the start if it falls off, but um, that's only for demonstration purposes, obviously. I wouldn't be cheating at home, because I'd only be cheating myself. That's a thing teachers say. Right, <clears throat> are we ready, folks? Three, two, one scrambly screwballs which is a, what i've just decided you say when you start this game for some reason go right oh, yeah. oh. well that was a good start oh no too too soon on the coming off that one uh, yep, 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 yep. well oh is this actually properly flat it's about as good as i can get it on the sofa i think yeah i think it's just me being shite actually oh no no i've totally lost the knack of this bloody hell Get over it, go on, it's a little bit too early. Oh, every time making the same mistake. <sighs> Yay, we did it, right. Over it goes, whoop, careful, careful. And then, oh, li little bit of, oh, oh, look at that. Straight down those, the unstable table. Whoop, yep, straight on, excellent. Can we skip the second one? Apparently not. Oh, nice, right, into the... Uh, horrifying bloody maze of horrible destruction 
Are we? Have we? Yes! Got through without getting stuck in the awful X area at the back. Right. Spin it round, spin it round. And... Oh! Slightly too hard at the end there, so it flew away. But it still rung the bell, so... Uh, th this means we technically won. Or something. Now, for the real excitement. We may all be familiar with Screwball Scramble, but are we familiar with... Screwball Scramble Level 2. Yep, would you believe it, there's another bloody one. So this is much more recent. The last one's from 1979. This is from last year. This was only made in 2020, uh, towards the end of the year as far as I can tell. And my goodness, it's pretty bloody good, to say the least. I'm really enjoying this actually, although there is one big problem with it, which we shall come to shortly. So, two points of interest before we begin. One, is it still got the little hole to put the timer on? It doesn't come with a timer, but if you should want to put your timer from the first game in, it's there, which is nice. But two, it points out to all of us what a modern game it is by having a shelf for your mobile phone. So you can put it in there and use that as a timer if you want as well. So that is fair enough. Right, pop that down so that actually works properly. So the way this works now is, yep, going across these sort of weird stairs, runs down there, then, and my goodness, this is this is genius reusing of the same system repeatedly. You have to get it into this uh, rotatey thing, spin it all the way around until it then flops out onto the top of the green bit here, which then drops down here, and you have to use this corkscrew thing to bring it up the side carefully to drop down here. <laughs> Then you get the dreaded pinball, which is by far the most difficult bit, I think, in any of these Scrooble Scramble things. I think, actually, overall, this is kind of easier than the first one, but not when you take that bit into account. Then, once you've uh, flipped it from there to there and up into that, it goes into the big funnily device at the top there, which is the only bit I don't like, because it's basically random whether it goes to the left or the right. If it goes to the left, you get to continue down here and uh, move this thing along and then bang it onto the old bell like the first one. If you don't, you go back to here and have to bring it all the way up again and then do the bloody pinball again, which is a massive pain in the bum. I don't like that. I like the fact that Screwball Scramble is kind of entirely skill-based, and adding this random factor in is a bit annoying. Right, so I've got it about as flat as I can get it, I think, which isn't very flat on this sofa, which is a shame. There's a lot of uh, ball bearings going on railings here, so this may make it more difficult. That's my excuse when I fail, and I'm going to stick to it. Look forward to that. Right. <clears throat> Let's give this a go. Three... Seven, two, numbers! Right, we're away on the mighty blue staircase of doom. You've got to be careful or that might happen and that would be bad. Right, let's try getting across there. Be a little bit more gentle with it. Be a bit overly gentle now, I think. Oh no, it worked! It worked! And we're, oh no, oh, get that into position. There, there we are. This will roll backwards and forwards a bit and then, poof, we're in. Right, that way. Oh no. That way, that way. Go too slowly and it can fall out the front, which is bad. Right, in and round. Oh no, it didn't go through the hole. That's because it's not flat, is it? Bloody hell, right, we're going to have to uh, lift the front up a bit, I think. There we are. Right, that has now gone on to here. You've got to be careful. Oh, there's a lumpy bit there with the old corkscrew thing here. It will quite happily fall into the weird vortex hole. And we're on! Excellent. One, two, three! And now back the other way through to the absolute nightmare that is the pinball bit. Hoof, hoof, hoof. Oh, blimey. This can take a while. Oh, look at that. That was better than I thought. Right. Pick, give it a good ping and it should go into... Oh. Give it a good ping and it should... Oh, oh, we may have to... Oh, no, it's gone back down. <laughs> I may have to lean it forward slightly for that one. I think... Yep, here we are. Ready? Yes! Oh, my God. Straight down a hole and it was the wrong one. So now, you've got to bring it all the way back up here, and bloody pinging this damn thing up again. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! Go on, go on. Right, ready, steady. Yes! Oh, no, move it. Oh, it's gone. See, this is what I don't like. You see, you're basically 50-50 as to whether you continue or not. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Now, I'm going to pop it straight back here for demonstration purposes. 
Yes, there we are. We're onto this bit, which I can't see from this angle. So this is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, you're supposed to guide around the side here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes, there we are. Dingle dangle. You've done the job. As I say, I think overall, this one is slightly easier than the first one. It's just the 50-50 thing which really spoils it, that and the pinball. But I mean, get a bit of practice in. You can probably get the pinball every time. You're not gonna get that every time, are you? But there we go. It's still a really nicely designed thing. I particularly like the multiple uses of the corkscrew. Very clever bit of engineering there. But do you know what, friends? I haven't shown you the really mind-blowing thing yet. Do you know why this is called level two? They literally connect together, like level one and level two. So therefore, when you launch the ball through there, oh, it doesn't seem to go through the thing. And this is the problem I've had, right? You can't actually, so you've got this thing set up so it can go on there and whoop, there we are, look at that, straight onto level two, bloody genius. Except you can't. It, it doesn't, there's no way of actually launching the ball. So it goes in there. I don't know if there's like a bit missing from mine or something or a shelf or something like that, but um, it just can't be done. It's really odd. Why would you have something that connects them together that doesn't work? And on the boxes, weirdly, it shows them the other way round. So you have to do level two before you do level one. So it goes there, which is fair enough. But again, I couldn't find a way where this would actually go through that bit there and uh, fall on, which is such a weird thing. Instead, it just kind of captures the ball down the bottom when you want it to go through there. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if there's something wrong with mine or whatever. So they technically connect together, but not in a way that's useful. I do wonder if there's just like a bit missing from mine. It seems so odd to cleverly engineer this thing, go to the trouble of having the end <laughs> two bits the same, so you can have, you know, whichever one you like first and all this clever stuff, but then it doesn't go through. Dunno, dunno. I tell you what I might do, just to add a little something in there so it works for me. Bit of cardboard, ram it in there, probably be all right. But all the same, an oddity. So overall, Screwball Scramble remains one of mankind's crowning achievements. I think we can all agree with that. And Screwball Scramble Level 2 is very much a worthy follow-up. Just don't know whose idea it was to give 50-50. They need a slap on the wrist. But other than that, yeah, pretty much bloody flawless. Lovely. And if you do want Screwball Scramble Level 2, good bloody luck. They seem to be out of stock everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what is in stock. Physical copies on Blu-ray or DVD of our first feature film, Ashens and the Quest for the Game Child, a comedy adventure. Our second feature film, Ashens and the Polybius Heist, a comedy heist movie, 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. What more do you bloody want? And the making of documentary for Polybius Heist, the story behind the story, Ashens and the Fly on the Wall, which also has a load of extra extras that we couldn't fit on the Blu-ray as well. Hell, you can even get them in a signed slipcase thing, much like this. It's quite literal a collector's edition. Quite clearly, it says so at the top. Go on over to ashensmovie.com if you'd like to know more. I'm going now. Bye! Boy, boy.